The water we use never really goes away. In fact, there never will be any more or any less water on Earth than there is right now. This means that all of the wastewater generated by our communities each day eventually returns to the environment to be used again. Prior to the early 1800s, modern sanitation was unheard of and human waste was dumped onto the streets or to the nearest body of water. As populations grew in urban areas, the results of those unsanitary actions manifested devastating outbreaks of cholera and typhoid, which killed tens of thousands of people. Today, Savannah is fortunate to have a state-of-the-art facility that treats our wastewater and returns it to the environment cleaner than the receiving water body itself. The Savannah President Street Water Reclamation Facility treats an average of 17 million gallons of wastewater every day. That is 9 million flushes. This facility actually mimics nature's own process for removing harmful waste. It is simply sped up by a magnitude of four hours versus one to three weeks. From your home, anything that is flushed will make its way here through a vast system of gravity pipes and lift stations. Influent. Wastewater coming into the plant from your home enters the facility and passes through bar screens. Wastewater is about 98% water and 2% human waste, dirt, sand, food waste, fats, oils, and debris. Almost anything can end up here. Bottles, cans, rocks, jewelry, and toys find their way into our wastewater. The bar screen helps prevent these substances from causing equipment malfunctions and taking up space in the treatment process. A raking mechanism travels down bars and removes material from the screens. The next step is removal of grit, such as sand from when you shower after a day at the beach or eggshells from the kitchen sink. Centrifugal force is used to remove grit from the wastewater. The wastewater then flows to the primary clarifiers. As the speed of wastewater slows, materials that have not been removed will either settle to the bottom or float like fats and oils to the water's surface. Water that leaves the primary clarifiers enters a secondary treatment that removes very small solids or dissolved solids known as colloids. After secondary treatment, 90% of all suspended solids are removed. Next is the activated sludge process. This is a biological treatment process that uses microorganisms to speed up the decomposition of organic waste. The mass of microorganisms, known as bugs, needs a steady balance of food and oxygen. Bugs stabilize the remaining suspended solids by partial oxidation, which forms carbon dioxide, water, sulfate, and nitrate compounds. The remaining solids settle and form sludge. The water then flows to the secondary settling tanks and the sludge separates from the water. The final step is disinfection with chlorine. The purpose of disinfection is to substantially reduce the number of pathogenic bacteria prior to its release into the Savannah River. Chlorination remains the most common form of wastewater disinfection due to its low cost and long-term history of effectiveness. This water is now ready to be used for irrigation. It is called reclaimed water. It is not for drinking. Approximately 3 million gallons of reclaimed water is supplied to area golf courses for irrigation every day. The use of reclaimed water is an excellent way to conserve precious drinking water resources. What is not used for irrigation is released into the Savannah River. Your wastewater exceeds state and federal requirements. The President Street Water Reclamation Facility has won the Gold Award every year for the past five years by the Georgia Association of Water Professionals. Our state-certified microbiological lab averages 8,000 tests per month. These tests include water that we discharge and water from our surrounding water at 42 different sites around the watershed. This is to ensure your safety as well as the environment. This facility is a flagship for protecting public health and her staff are stewards that work to protect you and our environment 24-7. We are proud to serve this city, taking in water that's been used, cleaning it up, 
and returning it to be used again.